Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I'm here with a card project for you today. I'm going to be using some newer products in my stash um, to create an inset window card. And so I'm starting out with a piece of Ranger watercolor paper here. This is a nice bright white watercolor paper and I'm going to be doing some watercoloring and then some stenciling with that Hero Art stencil that you see there. So I'm starting out with this Cracked Pistachio Distress Ink and I'm pressing it to an acrylic block because I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with this. This is one of my favorite ways to use Distress Inks. And I'm starting out by wetting um, the front surface of my watercolor paper. And then I'm going to take this smaller brush and I'm just going to start tapping in some of this Cracked Pistachio Distress Ink. And because the paper is already wet, as I kind of tap this color on, it's going to start moving around on its own. So I didn't wet edge to edge on this piece of watercolor paper because I didn't want it to move all the way to the edge. So I just kind of wet the center of that. Now I'm just going in and like I said, tapping that in. And the cool thing about Distress Ink is that you can really layer the colors. So once I get this kind of where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and heat set it so it doesn't keep moving around. And I'm gonna clean my block and then I'm gonna smush some more color on. So I've added some more color to my acrylic block and I'm gonna spritz it with just some plain water just to kind of get that moving around. And I'm just kind of building up the intensity of the color. And I just thought this would be a quicker way than re-watercoloring the whole thing. And I'm going to press this inked up and spritzed block onto my piece of watercolor paper. Now you can see I totally messed up because I pressed this ink onto the engraved side of my block. But that's okay. I'm going to flip it over to the smooth side of my block and add some more water. And then just move it around with my paintbrush to get rid of those grid lines that were there. So once again, I just went ahead and heat set that. You could set it aside to dry if you don't want to heat set it. And I'm going to secure this stencil over the top and use my mini ink blending tool to kind of add some ink over this Hero Arts Aero Pattern stencil. Now I'm not inking the entire thing. I'm just kind of doing a portion of it, like a partial inked technique, and I'm just adding some there. So now you have kind of this tone on tone look with that beautiful cracked pistachio ink. Now I thought it would be cool to add some shimmer to this. So I'm just taking my Perfect Pearl water and I'm lightly spritzing it. And then I went immediately with my heat tool to dry that because I didn't want the color to move around. Because Distress Inks react with water, it will move the color around because it is water in there. I went ahead and die cut my window on the front of my watercolor piece and I used the My Favorite Things Pierce Circles Stack Styes and I'm showing you my favorite glitter paper. This is from American Crafts. It comes in these 12 by 12 sheets but I like to cut it down into four 6 by 6 pieces and I store it with my 6 by 6 pattern paper pads. It just makes it easier for me than coming up with some 12 by 12 storage for that. So I've cut a piece of this down to where it's slightly larger than my watercolor piece. And I'm using the neck size down in those pierced circle stacks from My Favorite Things to create an inset window in that glitter paper. So I'm just kind of lining it up with that window that I've already created. And then I ran it through my die cut machine. Now once I got this cut, I decided I really didn't want the entire thing to be matted. I just wanted the gold glitter to be showing through the window part. So I just cut that down and then those little strips I can use for other things. Now I'm going to create different levels or layers of these windows. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting down some fun foam. This is just white fun foam. You can see when I cut it with my trimmer, I can just uh, rip it apart really easily. So I cut two of these down to where they're just slightly smaller than my watercolor piece. And I'm going to cut die cut the circles out of these again. So I have two layers of fun foam and I'm going to add it on to the back of this watercolor piece, the first layer, just the first layer with my extreme adhesive from Tombow. Now once I've added that first layer, I'm going to add my piece of glitter paper right behind it to where this window is going to kind of be inset and set back a little bit from that original window. And once I get that piece of glitter paper in, I'm going to add the second layer of foam adhesive. So that glitter paper is kind of sandwiched between those two layers of foam adhesive and creates a whole bunch of different levels there, which makes it really cool. Now I wanted a little pattern to go behind my window. And so I have this diagonal line stamp from My Favorite Things, and I'm stamping it onto some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock here. And I like to put my piece of paper onto my stamp and then cover it with a piece of 
scrap paper and just kind of move my hand all around to make sure I get that ink all transferred. Now I stamped that and I decided I really didn't like that. <laughs> so I grabbed this um, stack from Jen Hadfield and I cut down this boulder stripe. I really liked the boulder stripes behind this window. And I cut that just a little bit larger than the piece, the watercolor piece I had already created and mounted that behind. Now I'm using these Folk Hearts dies from Essentials by Ellen and I'm creating a couple of hearts to put inside that window. And I'm coloring some vellum so that I can cut a pink vellum heart. I'm just using a Copic marker to scribble on some color. And I cut that smallest Folk Heart die using some glitter paper and then that colored vellum there. Now I'm gonna create my sentiment, and so I'm going to white heat emboss this. So I'm prepping the cardstock, the vellum cardstock, with a little bit of ek Success powder tool. And I'm using this Scripty Saying Sentiment Set from Paper Smooches, and I'm just inking up that Thanks Sentiment in some Versamark ink, and then I'm gonna stamp it right along the top of this Essentials by Ellen 43 pound vellum. Love this vellum. And then I'm gonna coat it with some white embossing powder. And when I emboss vellum, I like to start on the back. I let my heat tool heat up really nice and good. I start on the back and then I move to the front. I'm going to layer up all these little pieces here. So I have the sentiment, the two hearts, and then just a little strip of that black and white striped paper that I used on the card. And I'm going to secure them all together with a tiny attacher because that makes it really super fast and easy. And I think those staples are cute. And those, by the way, are some gold staples that I created. Now I'm just trimming this down, adding some foam adhesive behind the heart. I added three layers behind the heart and then just one layer behind that pattern paper that's tucked behind that sentiment strip and then just secured that within the window. And for my card base, I'm using some Basil Taffy cardstock. And by the way, I bought one of these Teflon bone folders and it's amazing. I love it. So I created my card base there and just rounded that bottom corner with my 3 8 inch corner chomper. And I'm finishing the card off using some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. So that completes my card for today. And you can see all those fun different levels and layers that you get by sandwiching that inset window between the fun foam there. And do you remember all those pieces that I used, the circle and the stamped piece? I decided to go ahead and create a second card. So I've used that stamp background as well as that circle that I cut out from my original watercolor piece. So I hope you enjoy that option as well. As always, I have all the products used in these projects linked over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com where you can find more information on these projects. And I also have the products linked in the description at YouTube as well. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you have a fabulous day.